Hello chaps, it's Ian again, and today we've got a mini review for Steel Empire. Now you might remember I picked this up in Video Games New York when I was there back in December last year. Got it for an absolute bargain price and I was chuffed to bits because the Japanese artwork is absolutely brilliant. It's got one of the best covers on the Mega Drive. And the game is fantastic as well, it's really unique. I didn't um, play it back in the day from memory, I was aware of it, but I don't think I played it back in the day, so I was especially pleased to get it, you know. So the game came out in Japan, North America and North of the PAL regions. Now the Japanese version is actually called Kutetsu Tekoku, uh, pardon the pronunciation, um, but it's also got Steel Empire on the cover up just below that. Um, the American version is Steel Empire and the PAL version is Empire of Steel. Um, so it was by Hot B and it was published by Flying Edge in the um, North American and PAL regions and it came out in 1982. Now apparently it was based upon an anime called uh, Lakuta Castle in the Sky. I don't think I've seen that, um, by all accounts, people who I've spoke to well, who have seen it, you know, say it's quite good and, you know, very watchable. Um, loosely based on that, apparently, I think it was a little bit changed as, it, as the game went on. So the game's set in like a steampunk alternate timeline. You've got these huge floating battleships, you know, arm and locomotives. It's got a fantastic, really individual feel to it. It's quite unlike any other Mega Drive shooter, to be honest, and that's what I kind of like about it. Um, you know, games like this and also uh, GNU or Wings of War, um, for me, really stand out. You know, you've got plenty of kind of generic, um, you know, spaceship shoot 'em ups, um, but stuff like this really kind of stands out for me. So, storyline wise, you're basically fighting for the Silverhead Republic and you're defending, uh, you know, your land against the, Mot the Motorhead Empire, who have, you know, taken over, you know, for various places and you you're next on the list. And this particular level, the first one, you're defending uh, the minor town. So the controls, um, you've got C, which is a forward shot, and B, which is a backward shot, which is interesting. Uh, that's quite interesting game dynamics. And then you've got lightning bomb, uh, which you get from pressing A. So looking at the graphics and the sound, uh, firstly on the visuals, I think they look great in my opinion. Uh, I love the whole steampunk setting, you know, it's, as I've mentioned, it's really kind of individual. Um, there's some nice parallax scrolling in the later levels, and just the general level design, I think is really good, you know, they laid out quite nice and, and, and interesting. So definitely a thumbs up on the visuals, and they're still great with this day, I think. Um, the soundtrack is fantastic, it's got some great tunes in, like this one on this level, and some of the ones later on. Um, so yeah, a definite thumbs up on the soundtrack as well. Um, overall, I just think it's quite a, quite a polished little game. So to summarise chaps, very interesting game, definitely worth getting. If you can, pick up the Japanese version, because the packaging is a piece of art in itself. So I'll leave it there, enjoy this boss battle because it's cracking, and over and out.